This video will describe two new procedures added to StatGraphic Centurion 17 for acceptance sampling based on variables. The procedures implement Military Standard 1916 and ANSI Standard Z1.9. Acceptance sampling for variables is typically used to verify that a lot or batch containing capital N items has an acceptably small percentage of non-conforming items. Non-conformance is determined by measuring some critical characteristic, such as weight, temperature, or some other continuous variable, and comparing it to the specification limits. In a typical acceptance sampling plan, lowercase n items are randomly selected from the lot and measured. If the sample mean and standard deviation meet tabled criteria, the lot is accepted. Otherwise, it's rejected or subjected to 100% inspection. Version 17 of StackGraphic Centurion contains several variable acceptance sampling plans. It contains OC, AOQL, LTPD plans. These are plans based on consumer and producer's risks at specified levels of the percent of non-conforming items. It also contains plans based on Military Standard 414, which is equivalent to the ANSI Z1.9 and the ISO 3951 standards. These standards were adopted by the U.S. Department of Defense based on work by Schuhart, Romick, and Dodge. Finally, version 17 also implements Military Standard 1916 which was a standard adopted by the U.S. DOD in 1996. It generates C equals zero acceptance sampling plans requiring all sampled items to be within the specification limits. When implementing Military Standard 414, ANSI Z1.9, several parameters must be specified. First, one must indicate whether the measurement standard deviation is known or will be estimated from the data. Second, the lot size must be indicated by selecting an appropriate range. Third, the inspection level must be indicated. The inspection level is typically set by contract with level 2 being the default. An AQL must be selected. The average quality level is related to the maximum acceptable percent of non-conforming items. Finally, a type of inspection must be selected, either normal, reduced, or tightened. Typically, inspection begins at a normal level, but there are switching rules where one must implement either reduced or tightened inspection depending upon the observed quality of the product. Let's look at a typical example. Suppose I have a lot containing 150 items. It's important that the weight of the items be no more than 209 grams. It's also desirable that the average proportion of out-of-spec items be consistently less than 1%. How many items do I need to measure? To determine how many items I need to measure, I've loaded up Stack Graphics Centurion version 17. I'll now go to the top menu to SPC, Acceptance Sampling, Variables, Military Standard 414. The first dialog box will ask me to select various parameters. In this case, the variability is unknown. The lot size is in the range 91 to 150. I'll leave the inspection level at the default of 2, the AQL at its default value of 1, and stick with normal inspection. The second dialog box will ask me what I want to do. If I haven't collected my sample yet, the appropriate action is to determine the sample size, so I'll leave that select it, and press OK. At this point, an analysis window will be opened. 
The analysis summary shows the required sampling plan. If I double click on it, you'll see that the required sample size is 10 items and that the maximum allowable percent non-conforming items is M equals 3.27 percent. It's also useful to look at the operating characteristic curve that's generated by default. This plots the probability of accepting a lot as a function of the percent of non-conforming items. You'll notice that if the percent of non-conforming items in the lot is 1 or 2 percent, the probability of accepting the lot is quite large. When it drops, however, to about 8, 9 percent, the probability of accepting a lot is quite small. Suppose I now go out and select 10 items at random from the lot of 150. I'll weigh each of the items and put the weights into a column of the Stat Graphics data sheet. To decide whether or not to accept the lot, I first need to calculate quality indices corresponding to each specification limit. If I have a lower specification limit, the lower quality index is the sample mean minus the lower spec divided by the sample standard deviation. In the case of the upper spec, the upper quality index is the upper spec limit minus the sample mean divided by the standard deviation. I next use the F distribution to calculate the estimated percentage of items in the lot that do not conform to the specification limits. I will reject the lot if the P that I calculate is greater than the maximum allowable value for the sampling plan. I'll accept the lot if P is less than or equal to M. Returning to Stack Graphics, you'll see that I've typed in the 10 measurements into the Stack Graphics data sheet. I'll now click on the analysis window for the Military Standard 414 sampling plan that I set up. I'll push the Data Input dialog box on the toolbar to bring back the initial dialog box. The second dialog box is where I told it that I'd like to determine the sample size. I'll now change that radio button to Analyze Data Sample. I'll take the column named weight that contains the measurements and place it in that field. At the same time, I'll go down to the field for upper specification limit and type in 209. When I press OK, it will now analyze those results. If you take a close look at the analysis summary, you'll see the estimated quality index. For the upper specification limit of 209, the quality index is 1.98. That corresponds to an estimated lot percent nonconforming of 1.261. Since this is considerably less than the maximum allowable value of M equals 3.27%, we would accept the lot. The procedure for using Military Standard 1916 is similar. The initial dialog box will ask us for the lot size. It'll ask us for a verification level, which is typically set by contract, and it will ask us what type of inspection we'd like to perform. To create the plan in Stack Graphics, I'll select SPC acceptance sampling, variables, military standard 1916. Our lot size of 150 fits in the range of 2 to 170, and I'll accept the default values for verification level and type of inspection. Initially, the action I wish to take is to determine the sample size, and when I press OK, an analysis window will open. Double-clicking on the analysis summary, you'll see that Military Standard 
1916 requires that we take a sample of 29 items from the lot. There are two acceptance criteria, a minimum allowable K criterion, which in this case is 2.4, and a maximum allowable F criterion, which would only be used if we had both lower and upper specification limits. After we've collected our 29 items, we'll calculate the sample mean X bar and the sample standard deviation S. We'll then use those statistics to compute quality indices, which for military standard 1916 are called K sub L and K sub U. If there are two specs, we'll also compute the index F, which is the standard deviation divided by the difference between the specification limits. We'll accept the lot if all measurements are within the specifications, both of the K indices are greater than or equal to the minimum allowable K criterion, and F is less than the maximum allowable F criterion. As before, I'll return to stack graphics. I'll open up the military standard 1916 analysis that I used to determine the sample size. I'll go back and push the button to access the input dialog box. And on the second screen, I'll change the action that I wish to perform. As with military standard 414, I can choose either to analyze a data sample in which case I need to type in all 29 observations, or I can type in just the sample mean X bar and the sample standard deviation S. In this case, I'll take the latter approach. I'll type in 194.2 for the sample mean of my observations and the standard deviation 7.46. I'll to make sure that the specification limit of 209 is put in the upper specification limit field, and then I'll press OK. The decision as to whether the lot should be accepted or rejected is contained in the analysis summary. First off, all of the measurements were below the upper specification limit, Otherwise, the lot would have been rejected. The K criterion that's computed for the upper specification limit is shown here. It's 1.984. You'll notice that that is less than the minimum allowable K criterion of 2.4, so the lot will be rejected. Deciding whether to accept or reject the lot based on variable data is an important technique in statistical process control. 